Hey, Coyote Nation, happy Wednesday from the Coyote Deck. A beautiful, absolutely stunning, gorgeous fall right. day here on the Coyote Deck. It is bright today. You can see we've got Jason Stapleton with us, as usual on Wednesdays. Jason with double duty at 107.9 The Coyote, <laughs> uh, the director of business development during the day. And at night, he puts on his cape and becomes Superman. our... Kansas City Chief Super Fan. Super, okay. Yeah, super Fan, Superman. He likes know. to think of himself as Superman, <laughs> but uh, more Super Fan, absolutely. So uh, we'll start off with the business stuff. Uh, Director of Business Development, everything going good in Coyote Nation for uh, business? Fantastic. You know, uh, people like to call this the off season, but our station, we don't feel it. Uh, we don't take a drop. And so clients are happy, uh, new clients are happy. Uh, I love getting to know everybody. That's the funnest part about my job. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's cool. And you are a people person, so yeah, I like uh, people. And your your job, basically, your expertise is to help people, help businesses in Coyote Nation get more business uh, if they want more business. I, maybe some are you know maxed out; they don't want any more business. But uh, you help the, the the companies that want more business get more business. So if you're looking yeah. for that, if you're looking for ideas, just get in touch with uh, Jason here. His uh, information right here at the bottom of the screen where you can contact him. Now, there's a lot of Chief fans out there, too. What what if they just want to call you and talk Chiefs? I love it. Actually, uh, I got a couple calls, actually. I got some emails. I uh, see a couple videos. Yeah. Uh, people want to remind me about my uh, undefeated remarks I've made. Kind of jinxed them with that. Yeah, so yeah. talking about calling me, it's happened. I appreciate it. Let's talk Chiefs. I love talking Chiefs. So, yeah, yeah certainly. Give me a call. Okay. <laughs> so, the Chiefs, they yeah. started out the season 4 0. Yeah, we did. Looked like world beaters. I mean, and some good wins in there over pretty good teams, too. Mm -hmm. uh, and now, the last two weeks at home, both games, uh, they have not looked good. They got beat both games by uh, first, it was by the Colts. Last week, it was by the Texans. Offense sputtered. Defense didn't look good yep. at all. Both games, you use the exact same headline too. Yeah, pretty it really, much. And uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of different uh, the direction of where we're pointing fingers. You know, this or it's that. To me, it boils down to two things, Chris: tackling and penalties. And I believe that's a coach and the players both. You know, I think the tackling falls in the purview of the players. Your professionals, you got to be able to make a tackle. I mean, they extended all kinds of drives on on Sunday, uh, Sunday night. Uh, that were probably maybe four-minute drives that turned into 11-minute drives. The time of possession was out of whack. For my point, it was because of tackling. We weren't stopping drives when they were uh, should have been stopped. And then the other side of it, uh, the penalties. Mm -hmm. I believe that's a coach's purview, getting the players ready. And so, yeah, let's see what happens uh, when we go to Denver tomorrow night. I'm telling you what, that's coming fast. Goodness. Maybe that's mm -hmm. a good thing after two straight losses. It's a short week, quick turnaround. They play the Broncos in a Thursday night game. It's not Sunday this week, so a Thursday night game. Um, maybe the negative of that, Patrick Mahomes. I mean, he was uh, really hurt, he was really limping around. Hey, listen, Sunday. have you heard his press conferences? He's lying to everybody, talking. Look, that ankle, he's he's wounded, man. Mm -hmm. He is hobbling out there. I'm not sure how long it's going to have to be a thing for him, but he's certainly limited. And with our with Mitchell Schwartz not being there in our offensive line, yeah. that's glaring. And so... We'll see what they come out with on Thursday. I yeah. don't know what to expect, man. Hey, I expect us to come out with an attitude and hopefully discipline so we can calm down the penalties, y'all. Yeah, yeah. Like every play. Yeah, yeah I mean, it's pretty penalty pitiful. madness. Pretty pitiful, all the penalties last weekend. And you're right. I mean, the hidden problem with the offense and Patrick Mahomes' problems the last couple of weeks is the offensive line. They're not protecting him. They're not giving him time. He keeps getting hit. And he keeps getting hurt uh, on that ankle. And, uh, I mean, you could see on that one drive where he threw the interception, he was just kind of bailing out. I mean, it was hurting him. He wasn't able to move. And he really wasn't Sobble. even able to step into the pass. It doesn't help either that our, the McColl Hardmans and the uh, Demarcus Robinsons, they're, they're not getting open yeah. on this man-to-man -man coverage. They just aren't. So that's why Patrick Mahomes is ain't able to get back in the pocket, make set his feet, make a throw. He's sitting back in the pocket. He's got... They're not getting open, folks. That's just all there is to it. Now, Tyreek played last week. Yeah. You seen what he did. Made a great they, catch. Yeah, they had him on a pitch count. Yeah. They, he, he didn't play the full game. He didn't play full 100% of the snaps. But when he was out there, he was targeted mostly every single time he was out there. And uh, you can see that Tyreek can get open in man-to-man -man coverage, and that's how it's going to help us. But, you know, here we go. Sammy Watkins is uh, out for this game mm -hmm. now. So 
uh, where you gain one, you lose one, and it's just been that uh, that been that kind of a month for us. So there far. has been a lot of injuries lately, and yeah. that certainly has not helped things. Uh, it's you know, it. I mean, it's a long season. It's a marathon. It's yeah, 16 man. games a regular season. Then you go into the playoffs. Woo! But I mean, we've seen the already after six games, we've seen the highs and the lows for the Chiefs. You know, in the first month, we thought, oh, this is this team is it, man. This is Super Bowl bound. The last two weeks, you go, man, this team's in trouble. They're not very good. So we've seen both. the The truth is probably somewhere in the middle. Hopefully. Hopefully they can get some things figured out. They definitely need to get healthy again. One of the good things about playing on Thursday night is they'll have... Ten days. Yeah, uh, ten days to kind of rest Counted. and heal up before their next game on Sunday. That's going to be a big deal. Hopefully get some people back. Good Lord, we could use it. And I'd make the argument that if this injury bug... Hang, now, injury affects all teams, Yeah. right? It affects all teams, so it's all, it's all relative. However... Uh, our injuries have been significant. I would suggest we might be 6-0 and had it not been for all the injuries we've taken on. I like our team, folks. There's no reason to hit the panic button is what I'm saying. Yeah. We've we got to right the ship and as far as our tackling and our discipline with our penalties. I'm telling you, those two things. We do those two things. Each of these last two weeks, have uh, po- probably the outcome would have been different because mm-hmm. we have the offense to... Uh, overcome other weaknesses so. and and something to remember yeah. too is That's that my thoughts. you know the last two weeks the Chiefs have lost to pretty good teams I mean uh the Colts are pretty good and the Texans are really good oh they're getting all kinds of love uh, now they're being called one of the best the best team in the AFC yeah. it's obnoxious you know so um you know so that's the part of it too but you got to beat good teams in the playoffs so they're gonna have to get it together and figure it out one thing I've uh, kind of taken from what, all the things Andy Reid's been saying this week is that he's not too concerned. You know, I mean, uh, he's not panicking and, no. you know, hey, we can, we'll fix it, we'll work it out, blah, 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 you know, and I know for Chief fans going, that coach speak, a little crazy. Coach speak stuff, Chris, you know, yeah. you yeah. know the deal. That's, that's coach speak. You got a problem with penalties. Yeah. We've got an undisciplined team. Gotta figure that out. That's pure and simple. And just general football things like tackling. Yeah, I mean, you take care of those two things. Drives aren't extended. The time of possession in and out is whack. Now Patrick Mahomes is on the field more often, able to do Patrick Mahomes things, and now the whole entire outcome of the game is different. You fix those two things. Anyway, so we'll see what happens Thursday. I so, fix those two things. I, that's what I'm looking forward to. I was watching <laughs> your videos Sunday. You know, you're at home with your buddy and uh, started out good, pretty excited. Happy. Yeah, you see how that and went downhill from there. Are you going to be doing videos again? First yeah, day? I was just going to say it's going to be <laughs> awesome. Uh, even a better time than this is last time because uh, tomorrow night during the Chiefs game, T's Redneck Steakhouse mm. in Lebanon. They are opening up, Chris, uh, their entire parking lot and turning into a big old tailgate party. They Whoa. got a bunch of cornhole uh, things going on. They're going to have a big old 72 inch projection screen TV that's going to have the game on, speakers everywhere. Uh, the entire parking lot is not meant for parking. Hmm. It's meant for partying and watching the game. Tailgate. So T's Redneck Steakhouse is the spot Lake of the Ozarks area to go watch the Chiefs on Thursday, go against the Broncos. And they also got the inside opened up, too. All, the game is all the televisions. They're giving away all kinds of stuff, a bunch of raffles. And they're also debuting, debuting is the wrong word, releasing their new blueberry, or is it blackberry, shine. Hmm. Blueberry, I think it's blueberry. Blueberry shine. And so, yeah, awesome. That's where I'm going to be at. And y'all should stay on our Facebook and uh, check that out. Gonna that is going to be cool. That's yeah, going to be fun. Okay. Big crowd. So uh, so you can catch Jason at, what is it? Phone number? Are we talking email? No, uh, you talk where you're going to be. Oh, yeah, day. yeah. The Tees Redneck, Tees Steakhouse, Redneck Steakhouse in okay. Lebanon, right there across from Walmart. Okay, cool. That's good to know. And and if Coyote Nation wants to show up and join you, can they do that? Yes, please. Hey. You, you've seen the video. You know I'm going to be out there. Come track me down. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's talk Chiefs. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be Denver's not going to be a pushover, no. especially at home. And so, Especially the way we've been playing lately. Goodness. And we're... Uh, I got no comment on it. I don't know. We'll, What's your we'll prediction? See. What's your prediction? Man, who? who, who uh, I predict we win. Okay. Chris, I predict we win. You're not going points. Man, it may be like a four point margin. Yeah. I just think it's. I think it'll be close. Okay. I'm going. What do you think? I'm going to do the exact same thing I did last week. My heart's too in it. I said uh, Chiefs would win it last week, 31-28. Close. Uh, I think. Around. I think <laughs> the. Uh, I think the uh, Chiefs win this week. In Denver, 31-28. We'll see. I like what you think, man. Man, penalties and tackling. So, if 
If you want to join Jason tomorrow night during the game, be sure to, to do that. If you want to call him, contact him, you can do that as information. Yeah, we're going to talk a lot about penalties there. and yeah. tackling. Okay, there you go. Penalties and tackling. We're going to talk a lot about penalties and And if tackling. you haven't followed us on Facebook yet, uh, be sure to do that on the Facebook page. There's a button up there. You just hit that button, the follow button. And then you'll get alerted when we're doing these talks here on uh, the Coyote Dead. Yeah, some of the funniest stuff I see on Facebook comes from our Facebook page, too. Yeah. So, I mean, we yeah. try to be entertaining in, in Ooh, every way and fun and, you know, and all that stuff. So be sure to follow us on Facebook. We've got a new Facebook. Casey was telling me we got a new Facebook giveaway. Oh, boy, it's going to be hot. Coming up, too. So that's another reason you want to follow us on Facebook. Our website yeah, is 1079thecoyote.com. Get it. Uh, got a lot of great stuff on there, too, including a sports page where we keep you updated with things, including, like, local high schools and in Coyote Nation. Man, we kill the sports, what man. What the records we are do, and stuff. Man, we tell you what. The sports on our station, I don't. You're not gonna find anywhere any better. Yeah. I, I love it, man. It's good. As a sports fan, I'm like, I, I, I'm happy to my little slice of contribution. I'm so thrilled to be here, man. Amen. You know what That's I'm saying? That's for sure. And you can catch our Renegade Radio sports updates yeah. right around 35 past the hour, every hour from 6:35 in the morning to 6:35 in the evening, and we try to keep you up to date on everything and have fun at the same time. And uh, Crystal and the Bear, the morning show, 6 to 10. Uh, they're, I mean, they're a lot of fun. They're God, great. They're great. Be sure to check them out. <laughs> they really are. Jamie Turner from 10 until 3, midday host. Yeah. Uh, a lot of fun. A lot of great music, of course. And then KC and the Round Man, 3 to 6 in the afternoon. Best show in the Ozarks. They keep winning all the awards. Best show at the lake and best show this, best show that, and all that stuff. So, uh, yeah, the sun you know. keeps trying to come out, don't it? It is, it is greatness, man. Absolutely, oh, it feels good out here. All right, so tomorrow here on the Coyote Deck, we're gonna have Crystal and the Bear joining us. So we'll get caught up with That'll what's going on in the morning show, and then uh, Jamie Turner on Friday. He's doing his Rocktober countdown. I know. I think that's awesome. Yeah. yeah. I don't his, do anything. His favorite. What do you mean? We're talking well, cheese, We're talking cheese, man. but I got no, like, thing. I got no thing. I don't bring anything to the table except my personality. Well, that's I enough. Mean, right? uh, that's that's all I got here. You know, you're you're, just, you're super fan. I like the Chiefs, man. Yeah. I'm going to – can't wait to go to T's Red X Deckhouse tomorrow night. There you go. Join him. join us. If Good you have time. any questions about it. Just contact them. There's the information right there. Big old Chiefs party, a bunch of Chiefs fans getting together. Sounds like a good time, doesn't it? And if you can't make it, uh, his videos are going to be up on Facebook that you can watch and see and uh, have a good time, all right? So try to, you know, try to pace yourself tomorrow. Not a strong suit of mine. This whole pacing. Got to work on that. It's it's more or less 100 mile an hour or zero. So So, (laughs) God help us. So be sure to join us, 107.9 The Coyote. And... Until tomorrow. Go Chiefs, y'all. God bless you. Like I like how you picked the Chiefs. Yeah? You see? Well, they are better than the Broncos, right? If they're not better than the Broncos, we might as well just freaking mail it in. The-